FS Elite at Flight Sim Expo 2024 is proudly brought to you by Simbit Worlds A Pilot's Life Chapter 2. Check it out now on Sim Market and also on Contrail. Hello again and welcome to this FS Elite interview at FS Expo here in Las Vegas. I'm here with uh, Bastian from Beam Eye Tracker. We're going to have a chat about Beam. Uh, we're going to do a little presentation uh, of some of the features of Beam and uh, get to know the face behind the business. So, uh, Bastian, thanks so much for taking the time out and showing us uh, your piece of kit that you've got here set up. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and, uh, and the business? Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I'm Bastian. I'm one of the co-founders of Eyewear. We're a deep tech eye tracking startup. So we're based in the French speaking part of Switzerland and we've taken this technology out of a research lab, eye tracking, you think of it as AI and computer vision merged into an affordable solution to turn any webcam into an eye tracker. So that's our, our main product and that's what we're presenting here at the, at the conference. And um, why flight simulation? Flight simulation is, has proven to be one of the most relevant use cases for this kind of immersive feature. Uh, people want to be able to look around in their cockpit. It, it's, it, and like I've read the number, like 23% of all flight simmers, they have some form of head tracking. So, uh, and they're very sophisticated users, so they're very happy to, to figure out new solutions. So like it has proved to be very valuable to us, yeah. Yeah, and there is a, uh, there's a huge amount of technology available to flight simulator users. Yeah. 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 Um, and it's really interesting, the knowledge and breadth of that community. So yeah. um, is the business uh, specifically used for gaming or is there a professional use outside of uh, this industry? So we have a, I mean, in general, we've been approaching this, this eye tracking world. We are like a solution uh, looking for a problem. So like we come as a research deep tech uh, company um, like what we what we do is we provide an SDK to many industries as an option. So like we're talking to PCOEMs and, and other players. But like what we now mainly focus on is a product is this Beam Eye Tracker software that you can install as a user from Steam or from Windows uh, and not have to kind of go through many hoops to, to get it running. So, so that's that's our current current strategy. Yeah. And uh, in terms of uh, flight simulator platforms that you support, uh, yeah. what are we talking? Yes, so we are using uh, an extension called OpenTrack. Many might be familiar with it. Uh, it, it supports 200 plus games, uh, many of the ones that you would expect, X-Plane, Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, Prepare 3D, which is a new one I just learned about that many use here. Um, and then Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, um, Assetto Corsa, Formula One. So there's many games that this, this uh, OpenTrack extension supports and we feed into that with our eye tracking. Fantastic, so uh, how does it work? All right, I'll show you the demo. Maybe uh, you position yourself in front of the, the laptop uh, as if you were using it. So like about the distance frontally uh, and about how you would use it. I think you're a little bit too far. Too far? Yeah, okay. okay. So what we're doing here is I have here the options available. So I'll place them like this usually. Um, you have the internal webcam right now that's being used. It's a 720p, 30 frame rate, standard, uh, cheap if you want webcam that most laptops have. You could have the alternative of an external webcam that you can place at the top or the bottom, or even turn your mobile phone into a webcam if you really don't have a webcam around and just want to try it out. There's a, a free demo on Steam that you can try. So you can basically get running without any uh, cost and, and just try it out and see if it works for you. And with the external webcam, we have the add-on that you can run at 60 or 90 frames per second if the camera allows it. So you have an even smoother tracking. And so the hardware will directly impact the experience that you have? In terms of tracking performance? To some degree, yes. But like I would say like the 30 frame per second camera already gives you quite a good mm -hmm. impression of, of what it can do. And, and we try to make it as simple as possible and as, as like plug and play as possible to get it run. So like what you see here is a non-customized, non-optimized uh, setup. So you have a, an installation with the default settings of Beam, which is the app that runs here at the bottom in your tray. So once you install it, it's running here. It's already tracking you. So these are your eyes. If you move your head a little bit, you'll see that moving around. Uh, and then I turned on the gaming extensions. It feeds into this open track extension, which is a free open source tool that feeds into this 200 plus games. And you start this, calibrate, you start this, you get guided through the process of how to set it up. 
uh, and then start, for example, in this case, Microsoft Flight Simulator and automatically detects the input. Uh, what I'm showing here is also your eye gaze, um, the overlay. Yep. Here is indicating where you're looking at on this screen, yeah. uh, but for you, I've, I've hidden it. Okay. So for you, it's not visible. When you look up, you will not see it because it disappears yeah. because you're not looking at the screen anymore. So I give you one dot to calibrate. This is just for the demo. You usually go through five dots. Um, so like, if you look at that one, that's your quick calibration. And now I will uh, enable the tracking. So if you stay still for a moment, just look forward. I'll reset your position. And now I'll ask you to not move your head and just look outside the left window. This is just you looking. I see him smiling, that's good. <laughs> look outside the right window. And now start scanning the environment more or less naturally. And start moving your head a little bit with it. So like, like naturally, how you, would, how you would look outside. Don't do too much of a, an extreme movement. Like the, what we're trying to avoid is to have people kind of force the camera and, and much more forget about the camera. Just kind of scan things. Like look outside the side window, look down, look at your pedals. Look at the yoke. Now, if you see, don't see the, the panel very well, lean in. Check it out a little bit. If you want to see the runway, lift yourself a little bit and look over the dashboard. So it gives you six degrees of freedom and this, this ability to use the eye tracking for the more immersive experience. It's, uh, this is my first experience of eye tracking and it's really surreal. And it doesn't take too long to get used to the motion. Yeah. Uh, and I really love, because I am yeah, quite blind when I sim, uh, being able to get really close up into the detail. I think All it's right. a really great product. Um, so how can, uh, how can users get hold of uh, Beam? They can visit our website, beameyetracker.com, and, and check out the features. There's two ways to, to get it. One, from our website directly. Uh, there's a Stripe checkout process, or you go to Steam and download the, the software from Steam. On the Steam version, you have to have the Steam client active so you need to be authenticated from a Steam client. So like that's, most users here seem to be wanting the standalone version because they don't use Steam. Yeah. And then uh, if I've purchased Microsoft Flight Simulator on Steam, do yeah. I need the Steam version of Beam to play? No. no. Amazing. Well, uh, in terms of uh, pricing, uh, how much yeah. is, the, it's is the software? It's $29.99. Um, as a normal price here at the conference, we have a discount. And for those, is the video going to come out in the next seven days? Possibly. Maybe, okay, whatever. Like, we have a conference discount, <laughs> and, uh, and, but usually it's, it's $30 for a lifetime license. If for people that want to try it only for a month, we have a more flexible monthly pricing option. It's not meant to be an ex eternal subscription, but more for people that want to try it for a month or two. We have some that turn it on and off, like every second month or so they, they try it. So, like, that's the flexibility there. Amazing. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jordan. And uh, thanks for uh, giving us the tour of uh, BMI Tracking. Yeah, thanks, FSLE, for covering us. No worries. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.